<laughs> All right, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... It's my trick here at your service. <laughs> and for some reason, it keeps cutting off the, four, the F in first there lately, but, oh, well. And, uh, yeah, welcome back, and let's... Um, well, there's not much to say up front with this, so let's just immediately move to here. <clears throat> And, uh, yeah, welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island, Chapter 4, The Trial and Execution of Guybrush Treepwood, where, yeah, we're at the very end of the fourth chapter, which so far will have been the longest that we've done so far. Also, let me double check that I did change the stream info and such. Okay, right. I have. do that. I just gonna need to run to the bathroom. <laughs> okay. And, I yeah. So far, this one has taken the longest uh, with three streams, or well, this is going to be the third stream now, uh, if, her, if my memory is is being correct. <laughs> Even my speech is trying to fail me now. And uh, yeah, let's resume game. This should put us right where we left off. Uh, yeah, <laughs> with, uh, <laughs> with Pox Delane and uh, uh, Immortal uh, Marquis de Singe. <laughs> duking it out though i i'd say even though she's immobilized elaine still has to much better as it much easier in this fight because she her sword is like double the damn reach of that little syringe that he has okay let's take a look around are we are we going to have to distract someone again with this that is a bucket of water <laughs> Guy Price, don't start with this stuff now yourself. The singe is gonna use that contraption to pulverize my sweet patootie. <laughs> Let's see. I didn't think it was possible, but the singe has literally made the Vakillian's wind control machine suck even more than it did before. <laughs> okay. At least it's impressive how he got this stuff to work. Those clothes munching moths must be attracted to the glowing lights of the wind machine's eyes. Back! Welcome back. Story without me. <laughs> the betrayal. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't done anything beyond look around. <laughs> sure. But yeah, I, I do gotta say, I'm a bit sad to see the uh, pirate parrot get pulverized like that, though. I get the feeling we might. I, I kind of hope we might still see it somehow that now there's just a bunch of gold <laughs> floating around that is going, well, a, a bunch of pyrite floating around that's going to <laughs> say Guybrush's name whenever someone talks near it. You mean uh, like a whisper in the wind? Yeah. <laughs> Who's there? It's me, Guybrush Treepwood, mighty pirate. <laughs> Oh dear, that's good. I can see that it happened in the future. Oh, wait, yeah, this is the last one. Yeah, this is the last part. Well, uh, yeah, this this is this game is, or the next chapter is where the series at the moment actually ends, or at least this split in the timeline. Because from what we, from what all I've know, one from what I all I know is that the. Re Return of Monkey Island is going to take place after Monkey Island 2, which was the last game that Ron Gilbert, the creator of the series, was involved with. And I'm curious where they'll take it. Okay, that explains why there's been rumor that the older ones may not be, be canon anymore. Yeah. Let's see if we can pester these people some. Hey, Elaine. What? Uh, my hand is the Singe's only source of jus de vie. If you cut it off his turban, he'll be a lot easier to kill. What do you think I've been trying to do, you barmy half-wit? Barmy? What the heck is that supposed to mean? Uh, can she knock the sponge? While you're flailing away at the Singe, do you think you could knock that sponge out of my severed hand? The only place this sword is going is through this snuff sniffer's gizzard. <laughs> Hang in there, sweetie. Okay. Just talking more eviscerating, sweetie. <laughs> I don't think it's opening up without one of those seahorse key thingies. Too bad I lost mine. Yeah, we lost that in the manatee. I don't think it's opening up without one. Hmm. We can't interact with the singe, actually. Is there anything in our inventory uh, we could try to bat that thing with? need to be illuminated. 
Uh, we, have to, we, have, we still have this sugar for some reason. We have the pepper. Uh, can we maybe just try this open? With the, I didn't think of to unlock. My hook won't be unlocking. <laughs> okay, so they thought of that. Uh, yeah, can we just throw something random stuff? Tasty. here? should be fed to something or someone that really appreciates it. Oh, if oh dear, these monsters are also attracted hmm. to sugar water. Oh, I think. <laughs> just chuck the entire fucking thing in. Sweet. Oh, oh that. Okay, that's distracting Elaine. I wonder why they're called fireflies anyway. Not like they're on fire. No, well, they, oh, they look like on. little bits of fire. Uh, can we... That doesn't need to be illuminated. Hmm. Something that Yeah, tasty. in Sweden we call them Ildflugor, which... But it literally translates to firefly, word by word. <laughs> Uh, same here. In Dutch, they're called uh, uh which well, it it translates a little bit different in that it translates more to little fireflies. Wait, hmm. does that mean there's big fireflies? <laughs> Not really. Hey, Elaine. What? Uh, Hang in there. Let's talk. Hmm. Uh, uh, it's kind of funny. While we do this. I'm preparing my sandwiches for what's in front of the stream. <laughs> okay, I... Hmm. Okay, this is the type of thing where everything we should need to solve this, we should have with in our grasp or in our inventory, but I'm not actually seeing how. I don't want to dig my hook into that. I don't know where it's been. <laughs> I wonder where... So, we have those fireflies now, but what would, do we want with them? Hmm. Actually, no, the moths weren't attracted to sugar water. It's just, it's just the fireflies that are. But they are still attracted to light. So if we could somehow turn off the light uh, in the eyes, then they would likely be coming over here. Then leave these three into a bit of a, <laughs> a situation. Nope. Uh -uh. Wait. Because you realize something. Hmm? The moths eat clothes. Uh, yeah. So, do we need to throw the sugar water on him? So the fireflies light him up, and the moths comes over? Hmm. Are they attracted to the light? Mm, don't think so. We, we can't interact with the bucket of sugar water anymore. Somehow, DeSinge has figured out how to make the Vacalian wind device pulverize people into a fine powder. That's just plain weird. <laughs> okay, there was a bit of text there. It was different in the subtitles. <laughs> hmm. Let's check I see this. that happens sometimes in some games. I kind of find it annoying. Especially when they, what they're saying and the subtitles they say are extremely different. So I have sometimes seen that happen on Netflix as well, like I watched a series and they spoke about uh, lions, but whoever had watched in shows of the Swedish subtitle group Tigers. Uh, let's see, is there some way that we can fault this to probably possibly mess with this system or something? No idea. Uh, right back. I'm pretty sure there were supposed to be three of these idols. Uh, there we go. Uh, so... Hmm. Uh, it's, it's changing the forest, but it's not doing anything here. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to look up a hint because I don't... I have no idea what we could be doing with what. Uh... Ta -ta -ta. For your pepper on the on the marquee. Somehow descend. Let's just play. Okay. Hey, Voo. What now? Hey. Oh, ah, I, I, that. Uh, okay. Oh, now. Uh oh. I was right. Sort of. Okay, so now he's <laughs> now he's a light bulb. 
Uh, Which hopefully means the mobs will soon attack him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that was really, really mean of Guy Brush. Just rub. I actually rubbed out his. Uh, what would you even call that stuff? Uh, it, it, he actually rubbed out his makeup a bit on his face, it seems. This probably is lead makeup, which is not good for you. Yeah. Mm, sugar water. Hmm. I remember, we used I think there's a drink here that just called uh sock drink, just uh sugar drink. It's just a it. sweet soda that looks like water. <laughs> okay. That doesn't need to be That's still leaves us one step sweet. short. Oh, oh dear. But yeah. Up. Wait, I just remember that uh, wasn't that extremely why is he not blind? Uh, yeah, he, he probably should have lost that. I, okay, looking up another step. Uh, talk to him now, okay. Uh, but we can't talk to him. Uh, could that be a glitch or something? Let's see. Talk to the Marquis and encourage Elaine. Hmm. Hey, Elaine. I mean... Oh. Wait, yeah, we, we should be able to encourage her to go for ahead now, since he probably have a hard time to parry. While you're the old... My hand. What do you think? Uh -oh. Hang in there, sweet. Less talking more. Uh, yeah, I think we might have accept. I think we. I think the game has glitched a bit because we're supposed to be able to talk to him to distract him. It seems. Somehow, that's just plain weird. Uh, hmm. Let's make a save. And then load back on the previous. Yes. Yeah. Still, a cold port way about having the fireflies on him. <laughs> yeah. Do I I was probably did not know yeah. how to get him close for I uh, must just we throw the water on him, but it's a heavy pocket. Uh, yeah, normal water would not have helped with that. Sugar water, whatever. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, now we're supposed to... Yeah, we, we can't talk to him for some reason. That's just plain... Is it the info maybe wrong or miss... Uh... Not the pool explained. Let's see, it's, it literally just says, talk to the Marquis in her current Elaine. Hmm. Let's see, there's okay. a short version here. So explains the device, use Procon Barn, your Pepper, talk to the Saints. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to look. Let's see, Tales of Monkey Island, chapter 4, glitch. Let's see, the, the, the bug. Uh, of course, now that's a different bug that we already encountered. Um, mm -hmm, that's a different one. Huh. Stuck inside cell, no. Let's see. Nasty glitches. Okay, fa ta 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 no. Stuck in jail, no. Uh, singe. Forty minutes in and we are already within bug territory, or we misunderstanding something. Wait. Wait, encourage a le The wedding ring? Mm. I very much doubt that. Nope. Nope. And on her. Yeah. Uh -uh. Seriously? The leg? That probably would... That would be more enraged than encouraged. 
Hey, Link. What? Hang in there, sweet. Let's talk. Yeah, it's, it's the same case as with their <laughs> the fight with Morgan earlier. We're supposed to distract their <clears throat> opponents, but for some reason we just can't talk to the Sins. So uh, let's see about a safe further back. It is about. Hmm. This is an hour earlier than th this save was made. Sort of. Hmm. How much further is this back? We just head straight for this. <laughs> Again, it's a bit uh, odd not to be able to see <laughs> where Guybrush is going with this without... Oh, I saw him zip by there for a second. Without seeing his... Uh, <clears throat> the trail he left behind. Uh, let's see, second seven legs. Okay, and we still need to do the entirety of the freaking meal with this. Uh, hmm. Let's see then. Uh, actually, why don't we look up a video? Uh, would be a bit... Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, it, it, it's, it, it's one of the cases where we will be proven to see if we've been misunderstanding or the explanation we were given were very poorly explained. That's Tales of Monkey Island, Chapter 4. Uh, I'll have to mute this, of course, and then just look straight to the end. Let's see. Okay. Firefly. Uh, actually, good timing on this. Uh, fireflies, and yeah, we're supposed to just talk to him. Which, for some reason, is glitched for us, so we'll have to redo part of this. Which is, well, a very frustrating, <laughs> very frustrating uh, glitch to run into. Uh, let's see. And again, we also have the glitch that it's not showing any of these extras. Actually, let me try something that might be a lot quicker. I'll, I'll just try reinstalling the game again quick. We've done that before during these, these streams and it should just be a minute or so uh, GOG then manage installation verify repair and yeah this should take you'd think something like this would have been worked out already but then again we did we did have to mess with the files a bit to get past the previous glitch then again yeah they should have fixed that glitch before yeah, I got surprised okay. for that. Though also, this is probably the only chef to be encountered this kind of bug. Yeah. The, okay. the other ones have been bug free. For the most part, to my knowledge, but I think we we had some minor ones, minor uh, visual ones, but nothing. Yeah, that just gets in the way like this. Okay, launch chapter four. Let's just hope that Chapter 5 is relatively bug-free, at least. Okay. Yeah. And it's kept... There we go. I can see. And we go to this save. It should leave us right where we need to be. Only for the game to crash. Okay. What? Uh, this might be from that save... This might be because of those files that we had to delete last time because they were causing an issue. Okay. So we need to do those codes again? No, not codes. We just need to find those files and get rid of them again. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Tales of Monkey Island. Number four. Hack. And it's probably going to be one of these that has to be removed. Let's give this another try at least before we start tinkering <laughs> with the, the data. Resume game. And crash. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think it was one of the, this one. And let me remove that. Okay, see if it will start up now. 
Hmm. Yeah, it, this is... It, I should be more annoyed with this, but... Hmm. For some reason I'm not. Probably because the game has been pretty... Uh, yeah. <laughs> pretty entertaining so far without too much frustration. Now, let's see. Load and... Crash. Hmm. Did you seriously make it worse? I don't think so. Let's remove another one that I believe was supposed to be causing an issue. Maybe take another one of the other saves? I will try that now. Hmm. Still, why the... Eh. Yeah, something like this should have been patched out ages ago. Let's go for this one. And the sound... Yep, there we go. Hmm. Okay. The... Maybe an even earlier one, but... <sighs> Did we somehow completely break it? I'll just have to check. Let's see. Oh. If this is going to keep up, this is going to be a really... This, we're going to have to cut this stream short just because of technical issues. But then we, I, then I think we should probably just move on over to Minecraft since we've been working on that anyways. Yeah, Minecraft or the next chapter or the... It would be weird to go to the next chapter. There we go. Hey, the monkey. What? Okay, now we... Okay, the, the file that I pulled out for that was... ENV flotsam jungle knights dot DLG. Uh... You'll never get past my wife's sword, you know. I once saw her hold off a horde of angry Rotarians with nothing more than a pen knife and a feather duster. Uh, impressive. But unless they were invulnerable Rotarians fueled by my incredible jus de vie, there's really no comparison. Soon she will tire, and her box will be mine to spread across the four corners of the earth. I'll spread you to the four corners. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Why did... I called it! Why did... Why did that happen? Okay. I think she hit something. Uh, anyways, we know what to do. Sugar water... Then we <laughs> pepper the scenes with some questions. Hey, hey. Let's know. Uh, maybe that's why I was bugged up. We did, we did the sequence wrong. Yeah, we weren't. So, we 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 didn't have to talk to him, but. <laughs> I kind of want to know who voiced the scenes because the voice is just voice actor is just funny. It, it's familiar as well. I think he's a voice actor veteran. I really don't think you have a chance against my wife. <laughs> Please, she's nothing more than a mere pirate wench, while I am an invulnerable man of science! Arr! There we go. Oh, oh, she gets her sword stuck in the wheel. That's what happens. And now, uh... I called it! What now? My cabin! No! You, you! Away from me, you nasty little pest! <laughs> no! What's the matter with him? Without my hand to supply him with more jus de vie, all those wounds you've been inflicting are starting to catch up with him. Uh, oh, get back here, you naughty little hand! Uh, uh oh. <laughs> I have you now, oh. my pretty. <laughs> And nice one hand. Care to help me with these locks? Wait, now it's friendly. No, it just fucks off. At least I've got the sponge back, though. I, I uh, think he has to to do some bloodshed. Uh, so, all uh, <laughs> that. Um, uh, yeah, that was um, pretty brutal. <laughs> I, I uh, think brutal is an understatement. This case, I, I don't know what's the proper word for this. It's beyond brutal! 
Well, there was that uh, buzzsaw noise, and I guess the entire island, maybe the entire Caribbean, is now dusted with a light covering of, oh, the singe. Oh, wait, now the, the entire Caribbean has been singed with this stench. <laughs> Don't worry, Angel uh, Face. Everything will be okay once I toss La Esponja Grande into that noisy ancient doohickey. Stop Wait, what? And get on with it, you gibbering jellyfish! <laughs> and yeah, in it goes. Don't muck it up. Wait, I, I think the effect of Stan's shirt was still on. A little anticlimactic. Whoa! Now that's an Esponja Grande. Use it to cure. Uh, that thing's going to get. Oh, right, the wind. <sighs> okay, it, it's drawing all. It's again drawing all of the pox in you. What have you done, Hillian? Uh, a voodoo nuke. Or a voodoo, anti voodoo nuke. <sighs> Guybrush? Elaine, are you all right? I. I think so. But how did I get here and why does my mouth taste like coleslaw? It's a long story. I'll tell you all about it once we figure out how to get out of these stupid clamshells. Leave everything to me, my friends. And there's the Chuck. Yeah, he still has his. Lechuk, my new best pal. How'd you get out of jail? Oh, the guard was more than happy to release me once I convinced him that it was the only way to win Elaine's hand in unholy matrimony. <laughs> Wait, unholy what? Unholy this! Uh, what? Elaine? Chuck! <laughs> this name shouting is jolly good fun. Uh, is that you, mother? I washed my hands. I uh, knew it all along. With or without all that voodoo, you're still nothing but an evil sack of scum. Correction, my sweet. I'm an evil sack of scum who's about to plunder the grandest treasure in all creation. But I'd be willing to share my booty if you catch me drift. What? Oh, come now, my love. You can't deny what we've shared these past few weeks. The chummy camaraderie, the kind words, the stolen glances. I know you've developed feelings for me. Join me as my demon bride, and together we'll lay a bloody siege to the very heart of voodoo itself. Go to hell, the chuck. Well, you can't say I didn't try. Looks like we'll be doing this with all that voodoo. I did not actually expect him to live, quite literally backstab us. <laughs> oh well, front stab us, but still. <laughs> Elaine, uh, do me a favor. Ah, that be the stuff. Anything. Kick his two face, but for me. From melee to monkey and all the islands in between, my love. <laughs> Aren't you dead yet? I've got wedding plans to make. <sighs> Out of respect for the newly deceased, I feel I should point out that you wave your sword like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a pox-infected undead cow. Okay, that was a good line, <laughs> Elaine. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good line, but also because I can now see why... Why people have this like for the last one and this one. Well, the last one is easily told by just how uh, shoddy it is, I'll just say that. And yeah, I did not... Well, he was executed, but not uh, in the way that we expected. Hmm. That's big. I I will say that they did a good thing with it. That uh, yeah, we were 
like Guybrush, we were suspicious at first, but yeah, he won us over over time. But I can't say I can't say now if he really started out uh, just uh, scheming this from the from the start, or hmm. Oh wait, Ron Gilbert actually worked together with this for a bit and for some parts, visiting professor of archaeology. Okay, he was visiting like he was not full. Probably just advisory. Yeah, probably. Hmm. Let, let's let the credits roll just to ca in case they decided to put something after, like with Murray in last time. Hmm. But now I am damn curious about what the hell is going to happen next. Because supposedly the voodoo lady was basically the big bad of this entire series. But it looks like, like Chuck is reclaiming that position. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not very confused. Yeah, like, also, is she or is she not uh, bad? Yeah. And now the question is, are we going to play as Elaine? Or will Gavgas come back some way? Uh, I, I certainly wouldn't mind playing as Elaine, but it would be curious to see what kind of <laughs> what they would pull out of the you know, LeChuck's oversized hat to uh, bring him back. Though it could be something that the voodoo lady does, like pull his spirit from the afterlife or something, or turn him into a zombie. <laughs> they, yeah. were, they were going to have a, a standoff like in Pirates of the Caribbean, the first one, where yeah, it's uh, zombie Jack Sparrow versus the zombie pirates, or not really zombie, but skeleton, whatever. Wasn't that kind of a thing in one of the pirate movies around this time? Yeah, the first one had that. Oh dear. But yeah, Designer as, for as day is. finalists? I could see people being angry if they only killed off uh, Guybrush, just you could play Elaine for... I think many would want to play Elaine and love it, but maybe not, maybe not by sacrificing uh, Guybrush. There, Jared Emerson Johnson as the Singe. Okay, Jared Emerson Johnson. Let me just yeah. quickly type or write it out. Um, that may sound familiar, oddly enough. I might have Jared heard it uh, referenced. Emmer. Emerson. There we go. Jared Emerson Johnson. Yes, it's the American musical composer. Okay. Wait, is it the. Could this be the composer <laughs> playing a character? Uh, let's see. Ta -da -ta. American video game music composer, sound designer, voice director, and voice actor. Okay, quite a bit. <laughs> okay! That might explain why I may have heard their na name in reference sometime in somewhere. Yes, quite a talent! Yeah, seems he has done music for Sam and Max Season 1. I Expect You to Die 2. Uh, the Walking oh. Dead. And probably a bunch more as well. <laughs> yeah, and Yay! A special thanks, of course, to us. <laughs> yes, you. I've said this before in one of the earlier ones, uh, in, the, uh, in the last one, I think, or the, on the third, uh, Monkey Babies. <laughs> but it is always nice when, it, when you are, well, thanked in the credits. Let's see. Uh, the Bard's Tale, Bone Out of Boneville is another Telltale. Uh, Sound Max, Alien Syndrome. A lot of Telltale stuff that they worked on. And yeah, it looks like that's that. Yeah, a, a hell of a lot of Telltale stuff they've made, they've worked on. Guardians of the Galaxy, Batman, Walking Dead, uh, more Walking Dead, Tales of the Borderlands. Uh, I'm guessing there probably isn't a <laughs> He's probably going to be, have been made responsible for the majority of those. But, yeah. Sadly, nothing after. Nothing hidden after. So, we are moving on to the fifth and final chapter. 
which I've already pre-started uh, before the stream to just have everything set up. So there should be no tinkering around except for changing the source on OBS here. So, uh, da, 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 da. Monkey Island 1.5, 105. There we go. That saves a bit of hassle and yeah, directly into a new game. Oh dear. Now let's see what Voodoo Lady has to add on this one and uh well, there's her cards. Healer. And treachery. I really want to set the Monkey Island tarot cards now. I've said it before, and I think there was a hidden Mickey there. Tombstone has mighty pirate. Yeah, no, it says mighty, like M I, like he's full of mites. <laughs> okay. He uh, has a lone dog. No. Scram! It's dark in here. Wait. <laughs> Where am I? I can't see a thing. Yep. Music by Michael Land again. Where's coming from? Maybe I'll just take some to get it out of the way. Hey, I think I can see some light. Let me just grab some more of this dirt. Hey! Well, so much for being dead. I can't believe it! I've been oh, buried wait. alive! Again! <laughs> wait, what? I've done. Hey, I don't... My hand is back! Uh oh. Uh, well, this really can't be good. Where am I? Well, still dead. <laughs> hey, it's me! Uh, Drugs! This, <laughs> this thing again. Uh, this thing has been in three games now. The first one, the second, and here we are again. Yeah, you right, right. those every day. Wait. I think there's a thing to mix grog and rum. Or was it rum and cola? Hmm. Uh, rum and cola is a cocktail. Hmm. Nothing. And, well, I guess... <laughs> Nothing. Uh, the, the, joke, it. <laughs> the joke here is uh, the machine is dead. Oh. <laughs> and also, as you remember, nothing. Did she in the earlier chapter or in earlier games predict his death? Yep. With the cards. <laughs> uh, where the hell are we? Is this the sticks? And we, you can see guy versus bones. Water is kind of slimy. Where does it go? The center of the crossroads. Uh, um, cool turnstiles. Voice, but what the heck with this is this sign? It's a turnstile. And apparently, death has yet to shed any of the inconveniences of life. The <laughs> tip jar. Wow, you do pretty good in tips. Do not touch. Okay. <laughs> Nice gondola. It's so clean, despite the fact that it's basically moving through a river of ectoplasmic sludge. I... Yay! I'm, uh, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate, and I think I may be dead. I... Yeah. Okay, I he's found a relative. Is... Uh, wait, what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He's your relative? Yeah, I... <laughs> Uh, you, made, you made the joke in the very first Monkey Island that I'm related to the Loom guy because he always only says, unless you ask him about Loom, all he says is I, and now this guy is doing the same. <laughs> I'm laughing here, but my mic does not pick up my laughter. <laughs> uh. Uh. Hey, <laughs> okay, now we're speaking up. 
Uh, I guess you could call that a bookend joke. Or no, that's that's re <laughs> Oh come uh, on! <laughs> am I really dead? I. <laughs> it, it, I don't. I get the feeling that this guy and the loom guy really are related. Unless Both it's the same there. voice actor. I suspect it hauls around dead people all day. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Oh, do you go there too? <laughs> oh dear. Have we met before? Nay. Okay, I gotta you say. Familiar. <laughs> Are you sure we haven't met before? I. Go ahead. I would say, uh, up close, his design it doesn't look as uh, bad. Just from distance earlier, he looked a bit weirdly derpy, but now I see how he's actually designed. It's not too bad, actually. Yeah, he, d he doesn't actually have any legs either. He's just hanging on here. Where yeah, he for seems, me was more, now he's just floating. Yeah, for me, is, I thought one of the cool neck bones there was his lower jaw. Which, well, if you think his low ne the neck bone there was his low yard, it would look extremely derpy. Yeah. Uh, Why yeah. is there a grog machine in the afterlife? For the thirst of eternal waiting. Hmm. Fair enough. Yeah, still the machine is dead, so it's not going to sate any thirst. I think that's the point. Any chance you can take me back to the land of the living? Nay. But I feel like he's a bit of reference to the guy in the first game. Yeah. Uh, where are you going in this boat? To the crossroads. I recognize that voice. No? I think there's someone that had done the Reaper voice many times. Can we go to the crossroads now? Pay me. How much does it cost? The golden eyes of everlasting sleep. Eyes of everlasting sleep? I have to give you my eyes? Nay. I mean, I know that I'm dead, but I'm still rather attached to my eyes. You do not. Can I still see without them? I'm still really new to this whole <laughs> Guy brush. dead thing. It's a metaphor, you Philistine. Just give me the two gold coins that were placed on your eyes when you were buried. Oh, golden eyes of everlasting sleep. I get it. But wait, I wasn't buried with any coins. <laughs> Typical pirate. No coins, no crossroads. <laughs> we just had to annoy him enough to break the, the facade of Mystique. Oh dear, and wait, what the heck is this stuff made of on top? I have no idea. It looks to... It looks like it it has a jaw, so it's a skull of some sort. But stuff with something else? I thought it was shock tooth on top, but I'm unsure now what the heck that is. Uh, maybe we'll get a better look another time. For now... Am I really, really dead? I... And he's back to that. I'll be back when I find some coins. I... <laughs> wow, that boat is almost too clean. You want mm -hmm. one? Oh, we have some grave dirt and we have a, sh a shred of life. <laughs> For some reason, I've been able to cling to this single shred of life. I think you missed a spot. Nay. There's a big smudge of filth right there. What? Oh, pig knuckles, I just polished that too. Run, kids. <laughs> okay, and what can we do now? What? Yeah, there is a skull of some sort on him. Helion, you... Oh, we could have... <laughs> we yeah, could have stolen from the tip jar. Luckily, we still have oh, more. Oh, it's so mean! <laughs> I think he missed us. Nay. There's a... What? <laughs> He's got plenty of money in there. I'll just take a little. But he won't actually take in... Uh, paper money, he needs two gold coins. So the this trick might... now is to exchange it. Uh, oh. A, <laughs> a whole eight instead of a piece of eight. Okay, that's a good one. Great. Now, what am I thirsty for? Let's see if we do this. Hey, it may change for me. Okay. Now we have, not well, two golden pieces of eight. <laughs> All right. Oh, dear. 
And then we just hand those Hi. over. It's me again. I... Uh, yep. Bye. I... <laughs> okay, just hand them straight. Here you are. Two gold coins. Please take me to the crossroads. I... Please enter the boat single file. While the boat is in motion, you must keep your hands and feet inside the boat at all times. The ferry to the center of the crossroads is not responsible for any belongings left on the boat after departure. Yep. yep. <laughs> it just <laughs> it moves around like a ferry, like a ride attraction. <laughs> Definitely relative to you. <sighs> and you have said you have a damn big family. Yeah. You. I was it now 300 family members? Or was it 500? I'm, I'm, I'm not keeping count today. <laughs> I'd lose count immediately. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it, where the hell? Uh, hello? Uh, Have we been ditched? <laughs> you can see the line. <laughs> Uh. Oh, a new arrival! Hey! Sorry about that, but without the flash of enlightenment, old Caleb can't get a good exposure. Come, buy a souvenir picture! <laughs> uh, no thanks. I don't have any money. Is that so? Well, let's just see what you have on ya! Hey, hey! Indeed, you are broke! Well, when you do get your hands on some cash, which will probably be pretty soon on account of your being a pirate and all, don't forget to come back and purchase <laughs> the lovely commemorative photo of your very own spirit entering the crossroads. That's fine, <laughs> just stay out of my pockets, will ya? And chapter 5, Rise of the <laughs> Pirate God. <laughs> oh, Chuck no. looking very pleased with himself. Uh. Uh, yeah, even in the afterlife, you still have hucksters <laughs> trying to rip you off. <laughs> and, oh, it's not... Oh, it wasn't... Okay, I, I'm guessing this draws into the water because it looks like... Hmm. Okay, maybe I miss, saw a thing. I, I, I mistook this for whatever line the boat was traveling on. But it might just be the... Hmm. Let's have a look around. Oh, anyways. This must be the center of the crossroads. Yes. This is the point at which every soul must choose their ultimate pirate path. You may choose sword mastery, thievery, or treasure hunter. Three. <laughs> How piratey. And another call back to the first game. Okay, so how do we actually pick one of these? Do we just walk down them? Hmm. Okay, we can't just walk down them. I don't see anything Galeb. to click. Wait, why does the name Caleb sound familiar in this case? Well, because it's similar to Caleb. I always wondered what it would be like to be dead. I think I expected a bit more pomp. Circumstance, even. And the crossroads is great and all, but, you know, a 21 musket salute wouldn't hurt. A chariot. Ooh, pirate chariot. A choir of sirens exalting my name. You know, a little something. <laughs> little? Guy was getting, in, guy was getting in perspective. Okay, so how the hell do we even pick a path? Excuse me? I have a few questions for you. What's on your mind, type word? It pronounced it correctly? Where am I? And what is the crossroads anyway? Crossroads are where the physical and spiritual realms meet and where your journey into the afterlife begins. From here, you can choose your final fate and fulfill your pirate destiny in Fila's Green. Or maybe you'll just mope about like a schlub. Personally, you look a bit like a moper to me. <laughs> uh, this guy isn't a ghost. He's a denizen of the afterlife. What are you doing here? You might say I'm a lost soul trying to find my way, but I can't seem to find my guide dog. I've been here a long time, so if you get lost and need some guidance, you come see me. Okay. Wait, what? Do you know the voodoo lady? Can you be a bit more specific? Maybe a name? I've known a lot of voodoo ladies in my <laughs> time. I uh, never got her name. 
Oh, I think he's... Okay, I'm, okay, I might be wrong here. I will say that right away. I might be wrong here. But I think it's part of wood, the wood wood thing about afterlife. I know there's a Baron Mundi or something like that. Uh, who is supposed to be a voodoo god of the afterlife. But I don't know a Galeb. Then again, my, my knowledge of voodoo is very limited. Yeah, extremely limited. <laughs> Kybers would probably know more about it than me. Yeah, it, it could be a servant of him. I noticed I have a shred of life in my pocket. Why? Everyone shows up with something that they cling to. You must have thought that staying alive was pretty important for some reason. Well, yeah, I... Me? I brought a corn dog. I love corn dogs. <laughs> Okay, so you are a naturalized citizen of the underworld. <laughs> because he doesn't look ghostly, he looks more like a zombie. Yeah, he really missing the nose. Where did the creepy boatman go? His only job is to ferry your riding souls to the crossroads where they can choose their eternal destination. Once he's done his job, he'll no longer appear to you. Also, he said he had to leave early for his sister's baby shower. <laughs> okay. Has anyone ever been able to return to the land of the living? No, nope, never. No, sir. Can't be done. Are you <laughs> sure no one has ever been able to return to the land of the living? Who ever uh, told you a thing like that? Of course it can be done. Why, I remember a handsome young pirate who returned to the land of the living once, hoping to reunite with his one true love. That's what I need to do. LeChuck, I think his name was. LeChuck? But he came back to life as, in order, a ghost, a zombie, a demon, a living statue, and a killer walrus. Eh? I don't want to be any of those. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't think that true love thing worked out too well for him either. Things started getting awfully crowded around here after he returned to the living. <laughs> How did LeChuck escape? He just grabbed himself aboard, caught a gnarly wave, and was <laughs> out of here. Are you lying to me? What? What did I say? That he surfed his way out. What? No, that'd be stupid! LeChuck returned to the world of the living with a powerful voodoo spell that he obtained from the other side. A spell? Yep. And if there's one thing I know about, it's spells. What happened to the spell LeChuck used to return to the land of the not dead? Some say it is locked away in a vile treasure chest and hidden somewhere in the crossroads. But no one knows for sure. Well, it's been great talking to you, strange old man who kind of smells like olives, but I don't plan on sticking around here in the afterlife. My wife is still alive out there somewhere. You do that. Might be surprised at what you find when you get there, though. What do you mean? I died like two minutes ago. Hmm? Yeah, time's going to be running differently in the living world and the dead world, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. And maybe it's just me, but he seems that he only really gives a straight answer on things that he's hiding when he's uh, asked the second time or something. <laughs> but <laughs> the image of LeChuck surfing his way out of here... <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> uh, if there's no fan art of that, it should it exist. The center of the crossroads. Still is not telling us what the hell we need to do. Maybe we need to use the boat to pick a path or something? Or is this just going to send us back? Oh, nope. <laughs> we got a freaking map. Uh, let's see. Sword fight, thieves den, and treasure hunt. And there's a stop in the middle. Okay. Let's go clockwise. Oh, hell oh hello there, Morgan. Uh, been a bit since we've seen you. Hmm. It's a bit of a small place. <laughs> it's just, you, smaller than you think. In the afterlife. Well, I guess they I'm had to downsize as well. I'm confused. Was it her body missing? Yeah. I, I guess this confirms that she still died. 
The, who the hell took her body and the hello there again? Ahoy, matey. I see another swordsman becoming to challenge me for entrance into an afterlife full of sword play and swashbuckling. Oh. Very well. Let's test your wit. Thank goodness you're all right. Hey, I'll be talking to you. No, I'm not all right. I'm dead. Apparently you are too. Now go away. Well, you'll be happy to know that I obliterated your murderer. You destroyed LeChuck? What? What? Death what? Just scrambled your noggin. LeChuck killed me. DeSinge killed you. Ah, uh, hello. <laughs> Sword fighter looking for a challenge over here. DeSinge? But you said... That's just great. My one shot at redeeming myself, and Mr. Mighty Pirate can't be bothered to properly <laughs> listen to my death rattles. But... And on top of that, he sullies my reputation as a kick-butt pirate hunter by insinuating that I couldn't beat a wimp-wristed, wig-wearing sissy boy like DeSinge with two arms tied behind my back! Sorry? God, I'm depressed. Look, I'm not planning on sticking around this land of the creepy. I got unfinished business with a Chuck, and my wife is still in danger. I'm probably gonna need some help getting out of here, and you are my only friend. Forget it. I'm a worthless, backstabbing traitor with poor communication skills. I don't even deserve to be your friend. Anyone? <laughs> All you need is to get a little fight back in you. Come on, grab your sword and fight me. No, I won't fight an unarmed man. I be armed. Fight me. Fight me. <laughs> well, I'm not done with you yet, lady. I'll be back. <sighs> Fine. I'll just wait over here then. Is it any or does this look guy look familiar? So they some they reused body models several times with characters. You shaved around the mustache, hair and such. But he used general same head shape and body shape. Yeah. And I also mistook him for uh, uh Bug Guy. <laughs> I think it was that, his nickname, Bug Guy. Yeah. Hey, LeChuck stuck that in me for a reason, you know. LeChuck? Hi. He came back after me and me mate stole some gold turtle from him. He chopped off me head and asked me to hold that for him. In your decapitated mm. head? Yeah. Oh, he just wanted to kill me, huh? That'd be my guess. <laughs> uh, that makes sense. Okay, oh. that's where I recognize him from. <laughs> oh, poor lad! Oh, lad! <laughs> And I, I guess that confirms that uh, LeChuck has been just acting the entire time. <laughs> uh, okay, then uh, we're going to, if we're going to have, if to, <laughs> actually, do you have a sword now or not? Come on, why won't you fight me? What's the point? Hmm. Okay, I guess we'll have to sword fight this guy then for a bit. <laughs> so you're ready to fight, eh? I am, but not with you. I just want to say thanks for the sword. So, thanks. Hmm. <laughs> okay, There's so a not sword fighting in him. his body. True. Uh, yeah, let's. Can we pull that out as well? Aha! Come to test your steel and wits against me, lad. Well, I hope you have sharpened both, cause I'm about to. No thanks. How long has Morgan been sitting there? I uh, can't say for sure. She's been here since before LeChuck did me in, that's for certain. Just sitting there. She won't even insult sword fight me. Every Wait, time what? I toss out a taunt, she just agrees with me. Wait. Wait! She, she, she died first. Le, LeChuck's been fucking busy uh, then. Because these this guy wasn't even on the same fucking island. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Okay, can we just give her the sword? On your feet, Mo. Fine. Ah, she has her own yes. swords too. Now we're talking. I'm getting in on this action. <laughs> I died a failure. I used to dream that somebody would call me the greatest pirate hunter in the world. You make me want to puke. Uh, okay. Do we have to insult one and pep up the other? I bet people say that about you all the time. Oh, oh, do we? Oh, we need to counter them both. I'm the most cunning pirate on the seven seas. Do you know what my IQ is, boy? Seriously, on a scale of one to ten, how terrible a person am I? Negative one, if that. <laughs> I'm useless. 
I can barely even lift my sword. There certainly is a foul smell coming from this fight. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Okay, this is one I... Yeah, da, da, da. Oh. See? In some ways you are stronger than me. Yeah, we're... You know what? You're right. I was a darn good pirate hunter. Sure, I made a couple of bad decisions and my enunciations could apparently use some work, but as long as we are both here in the crossroads, I can still make it up to you. You can't match my witty repartee. I could if you would use some breast spray. <laughs> wow, I didn't think that you had it in your last. Now my head and I can move on and you can be the guardian. You just have to stay here until someone comes and challenges you. Okay. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Well, you deal with that on your time. I'm off to battle on the endless seas of Davy Jones' locker. You know what? I think I will stay here and challenge the weak and unworthy for a while. I knew you had it in you, Mo. Listen, I am Mo. sorry for the way I betrayed you. If there is any way I can help you, just ask. <laughs> okay, this was nice. And that is a bit yeah. of a... Hmm. What, yeah, what would you call that if you just have to, if, if you have to, if only the uh, win, no, if only the losers of the fight can pass on. Hmm. Well, it depends uh, for, well, if you want an honorable death, you need to lose, but you need to do it honorably. True. Like, sort of revert the uh, yeah, it, it it would be sort of like Valhalla, like dying, uh, <clears throat> dying, uh, yeah, a worthy death or a worthy defeat in this case, because well, they're already dead. Yeah, and only people that uh, die, die without honor gets uh, sent down. But however, <laughs> a, a disclaimer: there's many afterlives. Like hell is not as horrible. Like this one domain of hell is that's horrible. But Resurrect is not that bad. She's basically just got caretaker dead. Like, if you die, you just continue living on over there. You won't form or all that over there. There's pleasant. Like, just if you are very on this horrible person, she may send you in a very dull area. And of course, yeah. those who die with the honor goes to either Odin or Freya. Yeah. They, 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 they take off. <laughs> They, yeah. mean they take the one one gets half and the other gets half. <laughs> That's going to leave the, some people with splitting headaches once they have to split the difference. <laughs> hey you. What's up? Are you sure it wasn't the sin who killed you? You sure acted guilty. Didn't you pay any attention to my dying <laughs> words? I clearly said don't trust LeChuck. He's hypnotized a bunch of monkeys and ran me through with my own blade. That's weird. I heard you say Desinge is a schmuck. When he got thirsty, he killed me for some lemonade. Nah. In my defense, it should be noted that you were coughing up a lot of blood at the time, so something may have gotten lost in the translation. <laughs> Guy brush. Uh. What? Did Galeb try to sell you a picture of your spirit at the crossroads too? He tried, but I don't like people taking pictures of me. It's bad for my business. Sounds like he got his camera fixed by the time you got here, though. Oh. <laughs> she smashed it. <laughs> hey, when you crossed over, were you still clinging to a shred of life, too? Shred of life? No. But I guess it makes sense for you, considering everything you left behind. Hmm. What would you say was the most important thing to you when you were alive? My independence, probably. I liked being my own woman. Still do. Hmm. I have an idea how to get out of here. Guybrush, forget it. We're dead. Yeah, but LeChuck was once able to escape using a voodoo spell. I just need to find it. Really? There's a chance I can return to the living world and continue to take down pirates? Present company excluded, of <laughs> course. Seems that way. Well, if I can help in any way, let me know. Okay. Don't run off. I don't think I'm allowed to. 
Uh, Good luck boom. in the sword fighting gig. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, I was surprised for a moment because uh, okay, a boom is the is the horizontal uh, part of the mast, like that bit there. But in Dutch, it's also the word for tree. Wait, what? Yeah, boom. <laughs> That's the Dutch word for tree. Okay, so we've had now sword Now I'm fight. so tempted to test you some phrases. See how some phrases turn in Dutch. Welcome, welcome, fellow thief. You are a thief, aren't you? Of course you are. You wouldn't be here if you weren't, am I right? Of course I'm a thief. Excellent. Make yourself at home. Feel free to look around. We have many valuable stolen items here. I keep them around as trophies. Hmm. See what I mean yeah. earlier? They been reusing body models and head models a lot. Yeah, which isn't a, which isn't a bad thing. It just gives me a bunch of Jay's of This guy has the same head as uh, Hemlock. Yeah, but exactly. I, I don't think we've seen this one before. Yeah, but actually, first I mentioned that to the two of you, you you disagree with me. You said uh, that everyone looked unique. So it took a few chapters for you to notice they were not. Uh, unique enough to be able to tell apart that you don't get uh, uh, <clears throat> one or the other confused. Maybe well, he get confused with uh, it, the swordsman upstairs. <laughs> well, yeah, but that's because we did see him. <laughs> and he was a recurring character. Wait, it was Bogai? No, it wasn't Bug Eye. It was one of the guys that uh, we had to distract with the fake turtle. Oh. Oh. Uh. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we yeah. haven't seen this guy before because uh, I think we would remember someone not having <laughs> hands. What are all these things? Those are the things I have stolen from the poor, unsuspecting pirates passing through. Some real gems there, huh? Uh, I'm sorry. What was that you said? Um, I didn't say anything. Are you sure? I thought you might have said there was something behind me. There's a three-headed monkey? There is? Well, I'd better turn around and look at it. No, well, I don't see secrets aren't meant to be stolen. Here. Wait. Yoink. Is it intentionally? I'm a bad host, but I'm afraid you have got to be moving on. Yeah. Oh. Okay, then. I can't have this place full of thieves all the time, or people will stop coming in, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, thank you for being so accommodating. Speak nothing of it, friend. Feel free to come back at a later time. What's with this guy's Bob Ross voice? <laughs> yeah, that's why it sounds f familiar! Hey, treasure, all you, all you can dig? What? <laughs> okay, X marks the spot and there's a lot of X's. Um... Hey, Ian. Hmm? Did you notice oh, something about the power there? I'm 80, help yourself. If there was ever a treasure in life, oh, you um, Just do some digging and she'll be yours. Okay, he looks way too similar to you knew who who wants an action figure. Yeah. Pretty smoothly too. And I expected as much. <laughs> he stole the sexton back. He was being too obvious with being, well, <laughs> too gull no, too gullible. How the hell did he steal it without hands? This looks as good a spot as any. Well, Where did I, we I, get? Don't, I don't know that the. Uh, the shovel of the hands used to be a punishment for thieves. Um... <laughs> they did come back. We did come back, but so this is what happened to my cursed pirate parrot of Petaluma after Desinge obliterated it. <laughs> what? The... <laughs> I think I know what we're going to make a replica of <laughs> from this game. 
<laughs> oh, I from this. Can That's nice. <laughs> oh, hmm. I'm crying. Throw me a flounder. Thank goodness. Not that I'm scared of Murray. Murray's a punk. You hear that, Murray? You're a punk. <laughs> <laughs> You're still a punk. Guy brush. <laughs> S send in Murray, that would be perfect. Uh, they, they, they should have had the name changed to Skull and Crossbone. Because we took one of the bones. <laughs> Let's see, can we dig again? Or are we just going to find more pyrite pests? <laughs> yep. Oh, great. More tiny parrots. <laughs> I guess since he got atomized into a million bits, there are going to be a lot of these guys. Can we dig again to get some more of them? Hold on! <laughs> Hold on! Okay, I guess this is the only treasure I'm going to get. Stupid, cursed, whispery parrot. <laughs> yeah? Hold on! Wait, wait, wait! Dead people come here, correct? Yeah. Does that mean the parrot was alive? Nah, the the I, the way he this guy said it is that we well, let's actually talk to me. If we had hey, a treasure, we guy? would. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. My... Uh, I know who you are. You do? Wow! I knew I was getting pretty famous, but who knew my legend extended into the afterlife? Legend schmidgen. We bumped into each other back on Spoon Isle. Oh, yeah, you were one of the guys trying to beat up oh, Chuck. How'd that work out for you? <laughs> you tell me, smart guy. <laughs> okay, so all three of these are going to... Actually, now that I... I think I recognize, remember the hair on the other guy. So, yeah, LeChuck... Uh, LeChuck decapitated one of them, shot this guy through the, the gut, and, uh, yeah, cut the hands off the other guy. Oh. And here I was thinking he was going to complain at us about all the freaking pirate, <laughs> puny pirate, pirate parrots shouting his name all over the place. <clears throat> Save here! But yeah, the way he said it at the start, if, if we had a treasure in our life, we would, uh, we could dig around here and we'd find it eventually. But uh, apparently, uh, it's, <laughs> apparently it's being counted by... Uh, amount, not uh, quality. And because the parrot, parrot was blasted into billions of bits, Garbos could be digging for <laughs> centuries and only be picking up puny pirates. <laughs> parrots. <laughs> <sighs> Another reason for Garbos to hate the saints. Speaking of, are we going to find him down here as well? Uh, what are you doing? I see runner. <laughs> I'm taking a break, counting up what I have so far. Uh, okay, you you got a lot of loot in your lifetime. Holy! Can you show me how the treasure hunt works? Sure, why not? A pirate can never have too much treasure. Okay, so he just starts digging a bit. Surprisingly light. You ink. Nice treasure pile. <laughs> Excessively large pile of treasure. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> those, what the heck? Those pearls are bigger than a guy versus eyes. Treasure pile. <laughs> wait, wait. What used to erect? Slice the main brace. Another bag of gold. I tell you, I'll never get tired of this. <laughs> Yeah. Gesundheit. Thank you. Okay, yeah, that's right. It, it has struggled to catch my laugh sometimes, but not my sneezes. Even when <laughs> I turn away to sneeze. How goes the treasure hunt? Fantastic. I've been told by a marginally reliable source that LeChuck may have buried something important around here. 
Lechuk? Ah, he should bury himself if he knows what's good for him. So you don't know anything about it? No, but there are a lot of X's here. Hard to tell what's buried where. Okay. Sure are a lot of X's around here. Well now, aren't we the observant spirit? Were you some sort of scout in your former life? Or were your age dulled senses restored to the fullness of youth after you passed away? I'm a mighty pirate. Of course you are. We're all mighty pirates down here, schmuck. And this is the treasure hunter's paradise, with never-ending caches of pirate booty found under each and every X, as far as the eye can see. Oh, Wooly. Wow. Yeah, you'd think you'd get d tired of digging at some point. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> let's ask about so, that. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, how'd you wind up with that massive hole in your gut? Mind? Why should I mind reliving the horrifying moment of my demise? Um... That was rhetorical. Oh. As you recall, when me and the boys heard that the infamous demon pirate LeChuck had been turned into a human, we thought we could make our reps by giving him a good pirate thrashing. I remember. Even as a human, LeChuck was too much for you guys. Aye, but I got in a good left hook or two before he got away. So? So, after Captain McGillicutty's unfortunate demise, we decided to start up our own little swashbuckling crew on Spoon Island. Nice place. Lots of fish. What does this all have to do with the hole? I'm getting to it. Sorry. So anyway, we were right in the middle of procuring a suitable ship for pirating when suddenly, bam, my box is cured. I did that. Well, goody for you. Unfortunately, I didn't have long to enjoy my clean bill of health before the evil demon LeChuck sailed up, stuck one of those newfangled Hungarian cannons in me stomach and pulled the trigger. Guess he remembered that left hook. You know, you could have just said, LeChuck shot me with a cannon. What's wrong with a little <laughs> colorful narrative? Oh, wait. How much did LeChuck do and how quickly did he do it? Like, <laughs> like I'm pretty sure he showed up almost immediate. Or did, did this guy die after us or something? Hmm. Was it the time may work very differently here? Yeah, we, Galeb already made uh, has us suspecting that by the time we get up, it's probably been like years or something. Uh, but yeah, hmm. I, I guess uh, I guess Guy versus just a heavy sleeper, even in bloody death. Hmm. So LeChuck sailed all the way back to Spoon Isle just to kill you. With a cannon? No, he didn't stop there. That demonic menace also killed me mates and destroyed most of Spinner K. Okay, so a lot of time has been passing and yep, yeah, Kyver sister's late to the party. I've been talking to this Galeb guy at the center of the crossroads. Funny looking fella? Yeah. That's odd. He told me his name was Squinky. I think he lies a lot. A lot of people lie a lot. The trick is figuring out when they're telling the truth. And how do you do that? If I knew that, I might not be hanging out in a field full of X's with a hole where me liver, lungs, and kidneys used to be. <laughs> I like this guy. It's been, um, interesting catching up, but I've got five or six impossible things to do and I don't have time to listen to you, Kvetch. Fine. More treasure for me. Kvetch, that's a new one. Okay, we still have those little guys over there. Can we tempt them with a bone or something? Skeleton bone with that. <laughs> and I think that's a... Okay, that was probably referencing back to Curse, where we could try to use things with the skeleton arm all the time, but almost never could. Anchors are not known for their versatility. Hmm, yeah, that is, that is going to fly away if we get close again. So we need something else. All right. Can I refill my drink? Hmm. So don't I. There's an order for your first mate. <laughs> it doesn't make sense, and I can't think about it. Let's have a chat with you again. Hello. 
What's on your mind, Dripwood? So you say you know a lot about spells, eh? Fancy myself a bit of a spell connoisseur. Big ones, small ones, uppers, downers, reversals, hexes, jinxes, you name it. Really? Huh. I'll keep that in mind. He he's probably has some sort of tell when he's talking the truth. Like there, his uh, he was acting pretty happy with his eyebrows raised. I noticed I have a shred of life in my. Everyone shows up with something that they cling to. You must have thought that staying alive was well. Yeah. Me? I brought a corn dog. I love corn dogs. I'm guessing he's talking, telling the truth there as well. What did you say your name was again? Caleb. Welcome back. And I have headphones on so I can hear. Used to return to. Some say it is locked away in a vile treasure chest and hidden somewhere in the crossroads, but no one knows for sure. Hmm. Can't tell if he's telling the truth there or not. So what is with this spirit photo? Do you still have the spirit photo? You got any money yet? Hmm. Talk to you later. Sure, why not? Hey, you're a pirate. Pirates. Anchors are not known. Okay. Uh, let's have a look with the thief again. Because yeah, there's, not, there's not really much we can do here at the treasure hunt. Uh, we've done all that we can at the sword fight at the moment. <clears throat> Unless we can bring Morgan along back, to this guy. Friend. And yeah, let's just continue chatting with him a bit more. Get some more info. He wants you to steal what something it, specific. Probably. What happened to your hands? LeChuck happened to them. I guess he still held a grudge from when we stole the summoning turtle from him when he was human. He came back and slaughtered us all. Oh, Doesn't having no yeah. hands get in the way of your thievery? Not if you're good. I can lift a wallet with my teeth, crack a safe with my toes, and loot an entire treasure hold using just my uh, cheeks <laughs> ew <laughs> um so what kind of well. skills do you have the usual friend pickpocketing lock picking safe cracking and creating artificial buying pressure for a generally low trading volume issuer in the over the counter securities market yeah me too <laughs> uh, what did you steal everything in here? Most of it, friend. Most of it? Hmm. Hey, the last time I was in here, you robbed me. I, of course I did. And you robbed me as well, if I remember correctly. <laughs> yeah, don't... Ah, you got me. <laughs> What's a few stolen items amongst thieves, eh? <laughs> good times, good times. Well, keep up the good work. Oh, I am, friend. Okay, so what is something that we could take? There's it that helps. globe, there's a bunch of scrolls. Ooh, scrolls, uh, parchments, and maps. Winslow would be so happy. <laughs> uh, are those? Yep. Uh, really, a sock? What? Peg legs? How did he manage to steal all of these without the wearers noticing? <laughs> Good question. And wait. a map of the Caribbean. Wait, wait, wait. Helium? Hmm? Check legs. <laughs> Still there. What's the deal? Thank goodness! Ah, that's an old one, friend. They say that toe juice encrusted sock was once worn by LeChuck himself. The thief who stole it claimed he slipped it right off the zombie pirates oozing undead foot without being noticed. Funny how he showed up here in the afterlife, still clutching the sock in his fist. He was noticed. Do you mind if I, uh, steal it? Actually, I'd prefer you just take that one. It's really starting to stink up the place. <laughs> okay, that's going to be part of the spell. Wow, you stole this? 
Actually, that was already there when I got here. Hmm. Fair enough. <laughs> it is. It is part of the decor. Hmm. Urns. Look, there's something wrong with the box on the table. Smash these. I wouldn't do that, friend. <laughs> why not? What do you mean, why not? Because it's rude. Right. <laughs> Of course. And that's a joke at, well, <laughs> many, many uh, slain pots across the history of video game history. Along with barrels, boxes, urns, pots. Uh, uh, um, there's probably more that I don't remember at the moment. Yeah. I wonder what this would feel like in my pocket. Could you even fit those? Autographed sextants. Hey, nice. I had a collection of autographed sextants too. Do you have a Vasco da Lama? Ah, <laughs> I'm sure that I do. Wow, what a coincidence. Probably not then. There's an empty glove. Hey. I lifted that right out of the pocket of Betsy Bilgewater. Stealing that was easy. Trying to steal a kiss got me a swift kick to the boys. Yikes. <laughs> Ow. And also... I just remembered. Did they have a sh- Wait. Did he steal them? <laughs> Probably, yeah. If... For he- In one of the early games, he had a ship full of those. So could that- got That part have been the one stealing all of them? It, I guess so, yeah. I, 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 I remember there was something about Guybrush saying <laughs> something about his collection of- it's autographed sextons, but so I guess this guy just dug them up from the sea or something. Or what? I don't remember now if or if Guy Rush's sing his ship sank or that he was just yeah, left behind. How'd you manage to steal this? Funny story. I was Ocean. running a con on Dead Eye Drake, trying to get at his collection of gold cannonballs. When he hauls out this thing and asked if he can have it shipped back home, <laughs> I even charged him 300 pieces of eight to do it. Oh, how that guy survived as a pirate for more than two years is beyond me. Wow. Okay, he's a a scam. <laughs> and also, no relation. Shiny. Hmm. Also, no, I'm not dead, I Drake. My yes, eyes are not dead. Where'd you get this from? Ah, that I stole from Captain Bloodbeard himself, just after his crew mutinied and made him walk the plank from the crow's nest. No. Oh. Hey, what's in okay. this? Okay. That? Oh, that's a secret. Oh, what kind of secret? If I knew that, it wouldn't be a secret. <laughs> he doesn't even know what's in it. Hmm. Okay, so we have the Shredder Life, we have a bone, we have a jeweled anchor, and we have Glitchuck's sock. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to find that... We're going to have to find that uh, treasure chest with the pilfer. spell. I gotta go. Come back soon, friend. See, is there anything we can get at the gateway here? Oh, no, did. Can we pill for this for more? Hey, old Creepy Bones left his tip jar. I'll just hold on to it for safekeeping. <laughs> yeah, he, re <laughs> he really should have brought that with him. Can we actually? Get something out of this. Great. Now, what am I thirsty for? Uh, then my joke of earlier kind of fell, falls flat now, since the, the machine is alive. <laughs> Probably the only alive, th you know, only live thing in the entire underworld here. Mm, cool, refreshing grog on the go for when you need that extra something to face your day. Hmm. Nothing. Okay, so we we need to pay one for each of those. We're going to need one of these, prop. Oh. <laughs> yep. Oh, I think the rest of my bills are too wrinkly for the machine. 
Oh well. I'm pretty sure everything is sold out anyway. Yeah. But yeah, that, that can be really annoying when a machine won't take your bill just because it's been folded. I, I'm surprised that they had my shit to take uh, paper money from. I'm, I'm almost used to those taking only coins when I had to use them. Yeah. Hmm? That putrid smell is so familiar. Yuck. What? Oh, that's LeChuck's sock. I guess it is pretty rotten. Sorry. <laughs> okay, people are going to be reacting to that. Okay, can we pay for the photo now? I'd like to buy that spirit photo, please. I think my wife will get a kick out of it once I figure out how to get back to her. How much is it? That should cover it. Enjoy the memories. And that's... No, we didn't take everything. Okay. A hmm. photo of my spirit. They say the ethereal camera of the afterlife subtracts 10 pounds. <laughs> Pretty sure you're not supposed to weigh anything as a spirit anyways. That's a reference, Helian. Wrong. <laughs> Facing the judge just got that much easier. Uh, it's a reference to an experiment a scientist did. That when someone died, he noticed they lost that amount of weight. And they presumed that it would be this, uh, the, the weight of the soul. Okay. Yeah, oh, wait. Was it te 10 gram or something? Hmm. I forgot, but it was a certain weight, and that felt like a reference to it. Could I'm not sure if it's considered as a proof of soul or not. We tried to prove the existence of souls. Ah, it's me, Diverse Freak One, Mighty Pyrus. Shoot, this jar would be a great place to keep the tiny squawkers, but I can't get close enough to catch them. Okay. Hmm, so we're going to have to stick them in place or something? Rog can't solve all my problems, but it does help me face many of them. <laughs> hmm. Nah. Okay, I'm just going to start. Actually, do we? Can we just put no. it? No. Mm, no. This is the last remnant of my corporeal self. I shouldn't monkey around with it. Hmm. Okay. So, <laughs> what can we do to keep the little bastards near? Wait. Do we need to dig then catch them? Okay, I guess this is the only treasure I'm gonna get. Stupid, cursed, whispery parrot. Hmm. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> okay, but how are we going to catch them? Uh-uh. Let's... Rog can't solve all... Nope. It's trying to make him drunk? No, I don't... Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure we can't bribe them nah. to get in there. Even if I could get close enough to catch the parrots in this sock, keeping them in it is just <laughs> far too cruel. Yeah! <laughs> what the heck is wrong with you, alien? I'm just throwing everything well, against the wall. <laughs> Anchors are not known... Hmm. Okay, we really need to find. Well, actually, wait a minute. I wonder if that dog could help me find LeChuck's buried treasure chest. Dog? What dog? Oh, oh wait, the dog at the start. Also, um, I just realized something. You know what a crossbones makes? An X. So I get the feeling. There might be something hit buried underneath the sign. Okay. Now, where okay, is that dog? Okay. Oh, okay, there's a bunch more over here. Hello? Hiya, doggy. Come here, boy. Oh, I wonder if he's lost. Better take him with me. Uh, Yikes. Uh, maybe I should make friends with him first. Yeah, you can't stuff this dog into your pocket that easily, Guybrush. He has done it before, remember? Franklin. Yeah. Hey, boy, you look hungry. Want a bone? Here you go, boy. Oh, poor thing. You should probably come with me. <laughs> and in he goes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, I wish it was great to have such a talk with Peter. Bring those into this. Those hypocrites. Yeah. Uh, what would be a better one you know, organization to reference for stuff like that? The why is uh, no why is PCA? Uh, really? What what the heck is the other one's called again with the panda? Go ahead, little guy. Find what Chuck's hidden treasure chest. Uh, hmm. Maybe he doesn't know what he's looking for. I know what you mean, but I don't know what their your name is. Here you go, boy. Get a big whiff of this. I think he's got the scent. He survived. Okay, okay boy. <laughs> Dig me up a vile-looking treasure chest. The fact that he isn't running the he should be running the different the right opposite direction with that stench. Hey, where are you going? Bad dead dog. Nope. Okay, I guess it's not buried here then. I don't think there's any way I can catch these parrots right now. Maybe later. Hmm. Maybe that's a clue that we need to take them later. Yeah. Maybe something to glue them down or something. Uh, let's check the. Where does the dog go? Welcome back, friend. Let's see. Is it here? Or did it run over to the other? It's not here. Good luck with the pilfering. Come back. Let's see, is he here? Oh, there he is. Franklin, there you are. You're supposed to be finding LeChuck's hidden treasure for me. What are you doing here? Oh, such a cute little dog. Is he yours? Um, no. <laughs> what are you hiding, Caleb? Mold that meets the eye. So, <laughs> nothing. Here, I'll talk. What? Why, I never. Mm, but you do have the treasure. So I'll ask you, you'll say no, and around we'll go. It's hard to say. Okay, so Galeb has Chuck's treasure. Uh, how do we get it from him, though? No time to be Probably for drinks. some serious reasons, like not to allow others to escape. True. Franklin's found the scent of Chuck's treasure. Excuse me? I have a few questions for you. What's on your mind, deep wood? He sounds oddly meek during that bit. Yeah. I let Franklin get LeChuck's scent so he could find the treasure, but he came here instead. Hmm, curious. Maybe I am LeChuck. Are you? Nope. Okay, eyebrows low seems to be lying, eyebrows high seems to be truth. Do you have LeChuck's treasure? Yes. Just as I thought. No. W wait, what? Uh, but Franklin agrees. You're supposed to say no. Then there's no doubt. But that's your thing. Doubt. Puzzling. <laughs> now he's just screwing with us. Where were you the last time you saw LeChuck? Right over there. Just a few steps over there. Not right here. Sigh. Hmm. He's quite a handful, ain't he? Talk to you later. Sure, why not? But yeah, it, it seems the eyebrow seems to be his tell. No, well, actually, I, I think I know we I think I know a way to get him uh, to cooperate with us. I'm going to make oh. him date Morgan. No, we're g I'm going to bring Morgan back to beat him the hell up. <laughs> hey, you. Morgan. What's up? How's the sword fighting gig going, Mo? You know, it's not bad. I've already defeated three total posers and one half-decent fencer. It's not quite the same thrill I got from being a hired mercenary, but it'll do for now. You still depressed about being dead? It's not so bad. I'm not so sure I'm ready to move on, though. Being a guardian for the crossroads and fighting off the weak and unworthy is fun, but I don't think I want to be stuck here for eternity. Okay. I have an idea how to get out of here. Guybrush, forget it. Yeah, but LeChuck... Really? 
Seems that way. Well, if I can. Hmm. I'll be here. Okay, I thought we could just ask her, but no. Uh, she's probably not going to like this. I have no reason to torture them with this disgusting <laughs> footwear. Yeah, I agree, Helian. Shame on you. Anchors are not. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna shoot on your pig leg. <laughs> Good luck with the sword fighting gig. I'll be back. Hmm. It uh, does leave me at a bit of a blank as to what to actually do now. Yeah. Uh, also, do you see these floating lanterns? Yep. They're giving me ideas for the Minecraft uh, server we have. Welcome back. Yeah, it's not as it's not really a server. It's more a map. We could start up a server at some point, but we'd actually need some people to actually agree to come on every now and then for that. Yeah, and I, I misspoke. I, I made map. I said server by mistake. So you usually speak about the server. So can we trade with you, perhaps? Anchors are not known for their versatility. So, uh, I think we I tried to steal. Pardon? I think we we tried to steal something again. He's just going to empty out our inventory or something. But let's try to yeah, anyways. Easy. What is it, friend? Also, anchors make good weapons if you can swing them. Uh, looking behind you again? There's something behind me, you say? Hmm. Better have a look. Why, I don't see anything. This is nice. Where'd you get this from? Ah. No. Oh. Why, I don't see no. anything over Secrets here. Secrets aren't meant to be stolen. What's the story behind this? Seriously? That? I lift it. Yeah. Okay. Why, I don't see anything Yoink. over here. I hate to be a bad hope. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. I still don't... I don't even... I don't think I want to know what the hell he's doing to steal our stuff. Till next time, friend. Okay, what is missing then? Hm. He just took the urn back, it seems. Wait, you... Oh, but... How does... Do you have a dog barking? No, it's Franklin here. Hmm. Okay. I, uh, I, I think I'll sorry. go look up a hint because I'm drawing a blank at what we can possibly do now. Yeah. So we want the stream to keep going. And not just get dug, uh, well, <laughs> dug in on something. Uh, let's uh, see that, one. that dog sounds like it's, it's sounding like it's uh, coming from your background. That annoys me for... I, I've seen many YouTubes where they, their dogs suddenly start barking. Okay. Episode 5. Let's see. Ta -ta 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 -ta. General tips. No. no. Mm. Okay, those are spoilery. I just, I just need to... What to do. Not to have a... Extermination of everything that's... Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see. Ferryman escape. Okay, that's the fight with Morgan. Morgan uh, game. Don't ask her about sacrifice. Okay. What? Let's see. He'll tell you of a voodoo spell... Uh, go to the hunting treasure hunting, talk to the pirate, grab the jeweled anchor, walk over to the sign, skull and crossbones, yeah, bones. Uh, you can take the tip jar now, there's nobody around to stop you, follow the path, bone to the dog, thieves den. Most of the items are just distractions, the one you want is a sock, yep. Yeah. Uh, tend to go back to the treasure hunt, Franklin with the sock, use him on the ground, follow him to the center, use the stinky sock. Oh, okay. Oh. Have a whiff of this thing, Fibby McFarfrick Nugan. That's not my ne Hey! That smells like him! There we go. The Chuck's treasure. Where'd it go, Franklin, you salty dog? <laughs> now look, you've sullied the air over there. That's what I smelled right before taking a dump to the head all those years ago. That is one 
ugly chest. Oh man, it's locked. And I left my hook on my other body. Now how am I gonna get it open? Okay. Uh, hold on, I think I know how we're going to do that. Also, let me just click there to have OBS in front again, so I can actually see how what the stream should be seeing. We know someone who should be able to open Welcome these. Back, friend. Okay. Uh, let's, let's see. Can we just... Now let's just try giving it to you. It seems to be a bit of a thing lately that you, you think can't. You can unlock this completely non-valuable treasure chest for me. There's a worthless slip of paper inside that I really need. Um, I'll let you keep the chest in exchange. Sure, friend. In fact, I already unlocked the chest while you were talking, but I'm afraid it's empty. What? See for yourself. Okay, you. He really is quick. Oop. And what was that? What was what, friend? You just kicked my spell into that pile. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Huh. We'll see about that. Okay. We have Franklin again, though. Excuse me. What is it? There's some... Ooh, where? <laughs> I think well, I know. I We've done this before. <laughs> okay, boy. Do your thing. Are you sure you meant behind? Maybe if I try squinting. Sorry, boy. If he sees you with the scroll, he'll just take it away again. Okay, Wait till I'm he's going to keep me out, looking for then make a, a break for it. But okay. And let's just take Lever. this back at the moment. <laughs> Time to go, friend. Oh, right. <laughs> and there he goes. Next time, friend. Yep. I'm surprised he can actually swim in that hey, muck. Caleb? Hello? Huh. Looks like he wandered off. Maybe he'll turn up later. Okay. And Franklin is not here, though. Or is he? We got the look at the inventory. Uh, yeah, look. We still have this middle point here. Let's actually... Let's see. No, he's not in our inventory, so he's probably back at the treasure guns. There you are. Okay, give me the spell. Oh no, what have you done with the spell? Did you bury it here with all the treasure somewhere? Uh -oh. <laughs> Franklin. Uh, that is going to be a bit of a problem. And again, we technically... No, we, did, we technically... Well, we didn't own it. We owned the chest for a bit. Uh, but yeah, still freaking... <laughs> okay, I guess this is the only... Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, not... I don't think this is going to work in any case. They fly away every time I try to get close. Hmm. Okay, then. If we're just going to be digging around... Actually, do we need to just have him... ...follow the scent again? Go, boy. Get a big whiff of this. Will he now show us where it's buried, then? Okay, boy. Do your thing. So what is a live dog doing in the underworld? <laughs> uh, I think they say he was dead. Yeah, he repeatedly called it an undead dog. <laughs> yeah, he, he's, he looks oddly solid compared to everyone else. Back in the code for you, you little spell thief. It's the spell that Chuck <laughs> used to escape back into the living world. The physical and spiritual realms coexist as do night and day. To journey from one to the other, a pirate must know his way. Search around you and within you to find these things, and at the center of the crossroads, present them in a ring. The journey is confusing. Something must guide your way, and you must have an anchor to ensure that you will stay. What gives you courage to face the dangers to come, and a sacrifice in your name that cannot be undone? Okay. 
We have oh. an anchor. Uh, we have a liquid courage. And uh, not sure about the guys. Sexton. A sextant it, might work. Yeah, it, it is. At least does for me. A sacrifice. Either the photo or. It's not Morgan, is it? I, I hope Morgan is not the sacrifice. Or, but... Will she be count us as a sacrifice? Anchors away. Check. Hmm. One bottle of liquid courage. Check. Uh, the photo? Nope. nope. Can I repeat that word? I'm not supposed to sacrifice myself. Photo. I think someone else needs to make a sacrifice for me. For some, hmm. somebody just said Frodo. Something to find your way. Check. Yep, that works. Okay. Stay. Good dog. Okay. okay. All I need is a sacrifice in my name. Where the heck am I supposed to find that? Is that going? To, that is going to be Morgan, isn't it? Hmm. It will mean that she will be uh, that she will be stuck uh, dead, but. Hmm. She seems to be taking a liking to this job, at least. But yeah, still again. Should we have levitating lanterns on our Minecraft map? Hey, you. Yeah, it would look that? nice. I found a spell that will let me return to the land of the living. Really? That's great. How do we use it? First, I need to gather a bunch of ingredients, but I'm having some trouble figuring out what they're supposed to be. Maybe you can help. Maybe. What are the items? You know, you've already figured these out, Guybrush. Part of the spell requires a sacrifice made to me. That sounds pretty complicated. Maybe you should focus on the other ingredients first. Yeah, good idea. Hmm. Nice. Why don't you... Hmm. Hey, Mo, I still need one more thing for the crossroads spell. Some kind of sacrifice. I can't find it anywhere. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. I think I have an idea. Come on, I'll show you. Okay. So she's she's willing to sacrifice herself to make okay. up. Where is this sacrifice? I I don't see anything. Right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is that... Is that a good idea? What? No, no, this is just my reputation. I can easily build that back up again. Well... Ooh. Okay. Are you sure? Now the fact that Guybrush thought that... <laughs> uh, right. The sins killed her already killed her reputation. Thank you. <clears throat> well, don't just stand there. Get on with the spell! Of course, the spell. Wait, I don't know what else I'm... Oop, and <laughs> Franklin, gone. Well, I guess this is it. Seems safe enough. Ladies first. Wait. Hey! Huh, that's weird. I can go through no problem. Yeah, the sacrifice oh, was no. made in, you know. I am not getting stuck in this afterlife. So, what are you gonna do? I don't know, you just go on through and take care of your business. I'll figure it out. Okay. Wish me love. <laughs> Guy brush. And I want to suck to six. Chapter six. I mean, then. Um. And haven't we seen that symbol before? Actually. Why won't this thing open? Elaine, get over here and help me. I've spent months getting those mangy voodoo cursed monkeys into place so I could conjure up the entrance to the crossroads. I won't be thwarted now. Yeah, at least oh, he hasn't killed on, or cursed her. Spirit, not your back. Get over here and push. You know, you did that to actually kill him. And why not? Do you know the number of times that bony buccaneer has killed me? No. 
I let you capture me, and I played along with your stupid nice guy act because I thought that it would get Guybrush to realize that the voodoo Do lady not was... mention that woman in my presence. That cursed voodoo witch will control my fate no more. Now that hey? I have La Esponja Grande, I can use it to suck pure, unlimited voodoo energy directly from the source. I will become the demon pirate god, and you will be my goddess. And this time, there will be no Guybrush Threepwood to spoil our wedding plans. <laughs> what was that? Yes, that's it. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, he plans to basically. Oh, nice job breaking it, Guybrush. <laughs> You've given him exactly what he wants. Oops. But I think we've seen the symbol of the crossroads before. Elaine? What's going on here? Guybrush? I'll tell you what's going on here. You've lost! I now have full access to the unlimited voodoo power of the crossroads themselves. This is my moment of ultimate triumph. So, ghost of Guybrush Threepwood, would you like to RSVP for the wedding now or later? Quick in fear, LeChuck, before you stands the man who tore open the crossroads themselves. You opened the crossroads. <laughs> then I suppose I have to thank you for doing my bidding for a second time. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Why didn't you just get the merfolk to do it? Merfolk? Uh, to be honest, those fish people creep me out. Besides, manipulating you was much more fun. I was counting on your abilities to bring the sponge to me. Uh, what Elaine said earlier, does that mean that he, she knew he was playing? Now I'm just getting a bit confused with things. I'm getting concerned. Why me? Why not just get it yourself? You are the only living soul that can do that, uh, you know. Boy, was my face red when La Esponja Grande turned out to be so small. But then, you took right care of that, didn't you? <laughs> the voodoo lady said... The voodoo lady? By the way, does anyone know if she has a name? It feels weird just calling her <laughs> voodoo lady. Um, but I'll be taking care of her soon, too. <laughs> I have infused the Cutlass of Kaflu with demonic power that no mortal can touch. Hmm. This weapon that was designed to destroy me will ultimately set me free when I use it to slay the woman who has locked you and I in this perpetual loop of fate. Isn't that right, Elaine? No mortal can touch it. But Guybrush is immortal at the moment. Make me your demon bride. What? Oh. My demon bride. Kind of gets you all choked up in here, doesn't it? Face it, Threepwood. The Chuck has more power than any pirate could possibly dream of. And besides, you're dead now. Well, so is he. I'm sorry, Guybrush. But if... Okay, I see what she's thinking. If no mortal can wield it... Thunder Bunny! No! <laughs> is mine! And yet here you are, ghost of Guybrush Threepwood, trying to interfere with my big moment with Elaine once again. Well, come on and stop me! Give it your best stab! And he's cocky enough to actually give us the bloody blade. I, I, I see what Elaine is trying to do. Prepare to meet your... Oh, come on! Problem? <laughs> Why can't I grab anything? That's just one of the side effects of being a fleshless spectre. 
Good thing you are, though. Just one slice of that re-enchanted blade is enough to destroy anything it touches in this mortal world. But I was gonna use that to save you and kill the Chuck again. It ain't so easy being a ghost now, is it, Mr. Fleetwood? Well, that's how I felt all those years ago, when I was a simple ghost pirate roaming the seas. And now, you're about to know how it felt when you ripped my spiritual essence to shreds, when you doused me with that ghost-destroying voodoo root beer. Yep. <laughs> uh, lady, stuff. let's not be hasty. It felt a lot uh -oh. like this. <laughs> <laughs> Guybrush, what happened? Did you defeat LeChuck? Save your wife? Avenge my death? She... she zapped me. What? Elaine, she's LeChuck's demon bride. And she zapped me with voodoo root beer. Demon bride? She must be under LeChuck's control. Get back in there and save her! No, she's not. She looked me right in the eyes and then chose him. They're gonna take over the world together. There's a demonic sword involved. It's over. Well, that's good news. Huh? Now you're free to just curl up and enjoy a sad, pathetic eternity in Pirate Afterlife. Of course, I'm not sure if they're still letting whiny schoolgirls in. You'll have to check. Come on, Morgan. I just lost my wife. So go take her back, Guybrush. Are you a mighty pirate or aren't you? I... Look, I know you're not the most fearsome pirate to sail the seven seas, but what I've learned about the Guybrush Threepwood that inspired me for my entire life is that there isn't any situation he can't handle. And the one thing I've admired about you throughout our entire adventure together is that you never gave up on a lane. Maybe if I could find a way to use that cutlass... But if I go back, they'll just zap my ghost again. So get your body back. What, just find my body and repossess it? Wait, that sounds kind of familiar. That's what Ooh, Chuck lock did. It. Find the locket, find your body. And then bring the fight to that decrepit sack of sea worms and make LeChuck rue the day he decided to mess with Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. <laughs> yes! I still have no clue what Rue means. <laughs> but it sounded great. So, what are you going to do? I'm going to go skewer some more sorry ghosts. Maybe practice my pickpocketing. I don't know. Something. Morgan. Thanks. For as much for as much trouble as she caused us at times, she's a good guy. She's a good girl. Yeah. Oh dear. And oh dear. Oh, hello. Are we out? What? <laughs> Just another one on the track. Also, but, we um, yeah. time. Yeah, we're. This <laughs> is stuck out here. La Esponja Grande is sucking up the voodoo energy from the crossroads and transferring oh, it to LeChuck. Dear. Maybe I can just push it. <sighs> nope. Okay, oh, a dear. part of me thinks that... Hmm. Yeah, a part of me wants to go on, but... Uh, yeah, I get the feeling there's... <clears throat> I get the feeling where what's left is actually going to be quite a bit longer still. Not enough to finish up in like half an hour or so without, well, directly looking up how what to do every single time. So, yeah, yeah we'll save the finale for next week then, or next yeah, time that I, we can do a Monkey Island stream. Yeah, but I doubt that this final episode would be this short. Yeah. And yeah, we're probably going to have to you know, get quite a chat with the Voodoo Lady as to what the hell has been going on. Yeah, she, she's gonna be a mystery all along when you think about it. Yeah. Then let's see. Guybrush jumps through the portal to confront LeChuck, only to find that he's still a ghost and he can't actually touch anything in the physical realm. And worst of all, Elaine has willingly become the de Le LeChuck's demon bride. Morgan convinces Guybrush that it's time to get his body back and kick LeChuck's butt. 
and Guybrush kicking butt has been the cha the uh, ending chapter of at least two games so far, and is likely to going to be the <laughs> same here. <laughs> okay, double save just for security. And hopefully we won't get into any annoying glitches like in the last chapter. But uh, I'm I'm looking right. forward to this next time. That's for now, though, <laughs> let's end the game. Move to our transitional screen. Here we go. Wrong. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> let's go look for someone to raid then. Raid uh, village plunder. Uh, ta -da -da -ta. uh, Brandon Show Chihuahua. Uh, this is a friend of a friend. Uh, we've raided them a few times before, so might as well continue with that. So, slash raid there, and I'll hold off from initiating it for a bit. Uh, yeah, thank you, anyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, and yeah, special thanks to you, Nick, of course, for care. You're always welcome, my friend. I'm seeing some names on the chatty program that I have on the site. Uh, I will have to double check those, uh, some of those for being. I'll have to double check some of those for if they are bots or not. Uh, I, there is one name there that I've seen pop up a few times, but haven't been, uh, hasn't shown up on the bot tracker. So if you aren't a bot, uh, oh my Arceus 087 or 0878. Uh, Please, please let us hear from you in the chat sometime. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, beyond that, I'm I'm looking forward to how this ends. But on, at the same time, uh, it'll it'll be sad once this this is done. Though we'll still have returned to Monkey Island to look forward to. Oh yeah. That's for now. Uh, tomorrow we'll be continuing with our Minecraft streams. Uh, I'll I'll double check again if Corfell server might be up, but I like I said last time, I think that has basically come to its end, unfortunately. Yeah, but it would be nice if they at least told us, or at least yeah. you. Uh, I'll have to check on the uh, Discord server that they set up for it. Might be that they announced it there, but yeah, we'll just have to see. For now, though. Uh, thank you all again, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks. I watch out for zombie pirates. Come on.